<laughs> so I use this tool, which is the Z retractor. So if I see tightness in any of the compartments, I would put the Z retractor in and try and open up that compartment so I know the compliance of that uh, um, compartment, if you like. So collecting again, you can see the medial now opens up. Opens up. And is this the real gap or is that a simulation of the post-operative situation? So this is the gap with this prosthesis in this position. Okay. Collecting the ligament. So it is basically a virtual simulation of what the gap would be like if you would put the prosthesis in in the way Correct. you just planned it Correct. default, right? Absolutely. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that screen. Now the next screen is where the magic happens. So here I can see the effect of this in extension and in flexion. Mm -hmm. So if you look on the left hand side, the flexion gap 4 millimeters and 3.7 uh, is quite high for me. I like to have them balanced in extension. Remember, most patients walk in extension. They need stability in extension. Yeah. So it's important to have balanced ligaments. So you want a rectangular extension gap? I think so, in my view, yes. So what I'll do here then is go into the femur and distalize. So bringing the femur down shortens the extension gap, and now I've got a three millimeter lateral and 2.7 medial. Can you show that again? Go yep. up and down? So go up. Ah, okay, so now we see in the left hand corner, yep. down that. So there's an 11.5 cut at the moment. Yeah. So the Come decision down. to do it on the femur and not on the tibia is because you want to have independent extension right. and flexion, right. right? Now if I found that the lateral, sorry, the flexion gap was also loose, then I do it on the, fe on the tibia. Exactly. So I would raise the tibia. Yeah. So, in fact, we can raise the tibia a little bit. So this is where the surgeon experience comes in and the surgeon philosophy. Yeah. You know, it's not the computer telling you what you should Absolutely. do. Absolutely. You have to tell the so surgeon. So this is the surgical intelligence 